Benge. Certainly pushing before the ball came in there, uh, Cardiff. And Tim McGann gets the ball to Alan Quillen. Now Hickey looks inside. Nicky Robinson kept his eye on him. Shellard goes in with the tackle for Cardiff. Now Mick O'Driscoll. Good little pot. Oh, crunching tackles coming in there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Move away, move away, move away. Move away. It's number nine. It's number nine. Just like this, please. Just move away. And touch judge, I think, uh, wants a word here. Mike Phillips might have done something penalty captain we've got a clumsy tackle there he's driven through and the legs have come up over just a warning on that yeah, okay I, I okay i appreciate it's come up i think it's uh, tim mcgann who's down on the ground but uh, it's not the first time that phillips has done that i know in the heineken cup game in 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 yeah. cardiff he was guilty of one or two high tackles it's actually dara hurley who's down there um and i know he really annoyed some of the monster players that evening so um okay. i think you want to be careful to look around on this evening. Yes, I remember last season when Justin Harrison tried to push him over the retaining wall at Ravenhill at half time. So frustrated was he by the way Phillips had conducted himself in the first half of that particular match. And at last, perhaps, a little bit of pressure. And it was a dumping, almost spear tackle from uh, Mike Phillips there. Yeah, it was a double hit, but he did go for the legs and lift him over. But uh, this is really the first time that Munster having an, an attacking opportunity inside the card of 20.